My thing is that I'm not doing a 25 year contract. I just can't sign up for something like that. It just doesn't feel right. It's not for me. Right, number one, I totally understand. Completely get it. However, let me ask you a question. They banished me, never to be seen. To a place where the years always fill the screams. So hot that the land only grows weeds. A place filled with demons and ghosts, tumbleweeds. All right, guys, so at this point right now, I just went through the presentation, right, with Sean. And at this point, you're going to have some objections sometimes. Remember, the first part of the sale, you're selling. Closing doesn't start until the offer hits the table, okay, and the money's out, or they tell you no. And when they tell you no, you got to go into closing, okay? So I'm at the table, I'm presenting to Sean, and we're going to be going through some objections. And I call this fit. Okay, now Sean's gonna give me two objections that we've wrote down here, and I told him he could pick anything you want. Now, since we use the presentation as a solar example, it doesn't matter what industry, I wanna give you an example how to overcome objections, and this is how real life works. But the most important thing is I call this one fit. This series, what we're covering in this video is called fit, which Sean believes that this doesn't fit for some reason, right? He likes what I have, but it doesn't fit, okay? So I'm gonna have Sean hit me with a couple objections, so it's gonna go like this. So Sean, with that being said, obviously we know what you're doing now, right? And then we know what we can be doing at the end of the day. Obviously this is massive beneficial. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. You know, Andy, I really do appreciate your time and I like what I'm seeing here. My thing is that I'm not doing a 25 year contract. I just can't sign up for something like that. It just doesn't feel right. It's not for me. Hey, number one, I totally understand. Completely get it. However, let me ask you a question. So the current energy that you're paying now you're not in an agreement and there is no contract. Would you agree? Yes. Okay, cool. And you have a vehicle in your driveway, I noticed. You probably signed an agreement in place in which when you bought your vehicle, there was a contract that said after 60 months or 72 months, your car would be paid off. Am I right? Probably 60 months. Okay, so when you paid, let's just say $400 a month, whatever your monthly payment is, I have no idea what it is, but you paid that for 60 months. After 60 months, that car is gonna be paid off and you own your car. That is right. Would you have bought that car if the car salesman would have said, the monthly payment's gonna be $400 a month and you're gonna pay it until you die and it can go up. No, who would do that? Exactly. Hey guys, the video that you're watching right now is a sneak peek. I released this video for you to watch on my brand new Blind Spot training series. Below in the description box, you guys can click on a link. If you wanna kill it, my best work I ever put out, Go down to the description box now, click your link, you'll start training on it in seconds, it's gonna change your life. So you made sure that when you drove off the lot, there was a contract in place that could protect you, am I correct? That is correct. Okay, yeah. so contracts are good, Sean, but they must play in your favor, am I correct? Okay, yes. They, but they have to play in your favor, because yeah. contracts are made to protect you, Sean. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a contract, it's a little bit scary, especially if you're gonna have that product for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Now, are you gonna have energy for the rest of your life? Absolutely. And don't you think on something that you're gonna have your entire life, you should have an agreement in place in which you know what you're gonna pay forever? Yes, that's a good way to look at it, yes. Okay, cool. So this 25 year agreement ensures that no one can take advantage of you. You know what your energy is going to be. You're never gonna get caught up inflation. I hate inflation, don't you? Absolutely. Well, good. Well, this is gonna be the first time in your life you've been able to escape from it, all right? Okay. And I'm gonna need a contract to put in place to be able to protect you from it. Does that make sense? Yes. So contracts are good, Sean, Sean, as long as they play in your favor. You're right. Okay. You're right. All right. That is how to handle an objection, okay? So with that being said, Sean, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much. Okay, let's go to the next one. Well, Andy, um, the contract, that makes sense. But there was another concern me and my wife were talking about is we don't like the way they look on the roof. It's a big deal and a big concern of us with everything that we have on our roof. It just doesn't, it's not appealing for us. Yeah, I totally understand. Obviously, you guys got a beautiful home and I wouldn't want to do anything to, to not make your home look beautiful. The way that our high-end designers come in is that they form and articulate the panels on your roof to look great and actually look really modern and nice to the way that your home is. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go and just throw some glass up on your roof, Sean. Okay, we have high-end designers that come in that we're gonna put together a design structure that's gonna make your lo uh, roof look great. I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? If we drove in and you had high-end designer panels on your roof, okay, which literally are on the back side of your house so you can't be seen from the front of the road, mm -hmm. okay? Which literally would allow you to be inflation-proof, keep your utility bill low, and then in five years from now, you're watching everybody in the neighborhood bitch how they're getting screwed and ripped off from all these energy companies, but your bill is very low, okay? And you're able to do whatever you want with your money, and nobody's taking advantage of you. One of the things that I like about you, Sean, is that you just told me that you know you you, you want it to be this way. Yeah. 
Well, the deal is, is that you like to be in control of your money. You like to be in control of your decisions. Yes. Well, currently right now with your current energy company, you're not in control. Mm -hmm. And you're not in control of your decision. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put together a special design, one that you and your wife are happy with, with the panels on the back side of the house. Now, literally, the glass on these panels, it, it's, it's sunscreen for the roof. It makes your roof last a lot longer. It, it's a good look. It, it's a new modern look. It looks great. But what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to have your own decision. It's going to allow you to be protected, where in the instance you're in now, yeah, you don't see a panel. But from the front of the house, I can't tell whether your house has panels or not. I mean, nobody enters from the backyard, do they? No. Okay. No. So at the end of the day, how many times have you looked for, at your house from the backyard? You don't really do it. Most of them look from the front yard. Our designers take that all into place. They put all that together so that your home, the aesthetics, the look, the beautiful, elegant home you have, all that stays together and you stay in control of your money. However, currently right now, from the front of the house, whether you have solar or not, it looks the same. Nobody knows except for you're not in control of your money and literally the utility bill, the company can do whatever they want with you and you have to do it, yeah. which you already said you like to be in control of your decisions, which that pisses me off thinking about somebody taking advantage of you. Okay. So Sean, is the juice worth the squeeze to buckle down? Have a great designer, put the, put the panels on your roof, put it together in place, and then you save money and have control of your money. Is the juice worth the squeeze to buckle down, do that so you can get staying in control, which is, which is what you guys always want? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's all I want to do. Listen, Sean, I want to tell you something. Though. What One is more it? thing? Holes on my roof. They got to get up on my roof. Okay, the panels look great, but then I'm gonna have holes in my roof, and those are things that I have to worry about. We get a lot of rain, and yeah. it's just no. It's not something I want to do. Yeah, totally understand. Number one, Sean, you already have holes in your roof. <laughs> okay, right. listen. So the current roof that you have right now, you do have nails and holes in your roof. Yeah. Already. Yeah, so no, get up there, walk all over my roof, and put new holes to put those big panels onto my roof. Yeah, yeah. So, so, well, so basically, look, all this is going to do, basically, your current roof, nothing's going to change, is it's going to be sunscreen for your roof and actually make your roof last longer. And I'm going to ask you this if we didn't add any additional holes, which we will because we have to support them into the roof you have now, which you already have holes in your roof, Sean. Mm -hmm. Remember the 30 year warranty? Yeah. The 30-year guarantee, the 30-year warranty that I told you, your roofers, when they come and put your ro uh, roof on your house, they had to put holes in your roof to put the roof on. Am I right? Yeah. But they gave a guarantee that if something happened, they would come back out and fix it. Yes, it is. So that made you think, well, okay, well, if they're going to go put holes on my roof, they're putting a new roof on my roof, there is a guarantee, they're, they're on my house, there is a guarantee in place. Yeah. So as long as there's a guarantee, then I know if something happens, then I'm protected. Am I right? You're right. Yep. Sean, remember the contract we talked about a minute ago? Mm -hmm. It has a 30-year guarantee in there, which says if your house ever leaks or anything goes on, in writing, not just an ironclad handshake, yeah. Sean, right here, yeah. but in writing and in contract, we guarantee and ensure it will come out and take care of it, just like the roofers did when they put the roof on your home. Okay. Now, you need a roof on your home, yes. and then obviously solar is going to save you a lot of money, but it's also sunscreen for the backside of your roof, which actually allows it to last longer, but that doesn't upset you, does it? No, not at all. Okay, cool. Okay. So welcome to saving even more money, Sean. Right. Is there anything else before we move forward? Because everything that's important to you is important to me, and I don't want you to do anything that doesn't play out in your favor. Yeah. Sean, as I sat back and look at what you're going through now and look at what your life should look like, I'm like, my gosh, man, there's so many things that people don't know. So it's an honor today talking to you and your family and your wife. And this is obviously not only going to save you a lot of money today, but five years from now, but 10 years from now, you're going to look up and you're literally going to want to mail me a check in the mail because you see how much money you're saving and you're going to love that we had this conversation today. Yeah, I think we should be good to go. I'll just run it by my CPA and I'll get back to you. Okay. Let me ask you a question. With your CPA, do you think that he would get upset with you say having a 15% tax credit for this next year? No, not at all. I couldn't see why. Okay, yeah. So basically, we just did your CPA's job for him. Every year, you call your CPA to get him yeah. to save you money. Am I correct? That's right. Okay. Well, we just saved you 15%. We just gave you a 15% tax credit for this next year. So when you call him, you normally give him all the information you have, and then he does your taxes. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you've given him something where the government gave you a 15% tax credit? Never. Never. You know what he's going to say? No. Great job, Sean. Okay. Okay? Right. Go do it again next year. Okay. Anything else before we move forward? Maybe talk to my wife because we were talking about selling the home. Okay. Maybe that's something I should take into consideration too. Yeah, totally understand. Sean, whenever we put solar on your home, obviously it's going to help keep your, your utility bill lower, which allows you to be inflation proof. So if you do decide to sell your home, your property values actually increase. And the fact that you're going to sell it because your system, your, your house has solar on it, solar is continuing to cost more money every single year. Okay. And there's going to be a point in which you can't even get it. So imagine if you had a home in this area where utility bills are high, but your utility bill is low because you had solar. 
no one else could get solar except you guys because you had it because you got it before the deadline, your home would be worth more money where if you were going to sell it, you'd be happy about being a seller. Am I right? Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. So it'll just play in your favor. Okay. All right. Sean, can we wrap it up? Yeah. That's it. Now, I want you to understand what I did. Number one, don't get triggered. Don't get triggered. Don't get nervous. No anxiety. No worries. Who's in control here? You're in control. Let me explain why you're in control. Can I, can I do this real, real quick, please? Number one, because you have belief. Number one, you believe in your product. And also you believe in yourself. As I'm talking to Sean, like I believe in me and I know Sean's gonna have concerns. When Sean has concerns, who needs to be massively certain about the conversation and the product? Me. As he wavers or as he's deciding to find bias, whether this is good or bad, he should be able to look into my eyes and find bias that this is good. Listen, my job is to give Sean the courage. My job is to give Sean the education that he needs to make a decision. Okay, my job is to be here with Sean. Number one, believe in myself, believe in my product, and believe that Sean can make a decision to, to help him and his family. Okay, secondly, I care about Sean more than he cares about himself. I, I, I need you to really listen to me. I care about Sean more than he cares about himself. Every time that he doubts himself or doubts something, notice I say, Sean, great question, however, or I totally understand, but let's look at it from this angle. And then at that point, I literally build Sean back up to say, Sean, you're worthy of this. You're built for this. Your family can save this kind of money. I'm basically killing all self-limiting beliefs for one reason, because Sean can see that I care about him and his family and his finances more than he cares about it himself. This isn't something that I say, I can't say, Sean, I care about you more than you care about yourself. No, Sean has to feel it in his gut. Sean has to feel that from me. Face-to-face -face selling has never been easier. You gotta practice, hey, what, why is my product great? Why do people choose my product? What, how does my product help people? And you need to write all that stuff down and you need to honestly brainwash yourself to understand that what you do is help people help themselves with your product. Your job is to just be a great deliverer. Say that again. Your job is to be a great deliverer. I need to deliver Sean all the benefits that this has for him and his family so that Sean can pass go and get ultimately what he wants. The only thing stopping him is me being an amateur doing a bad job. Mm -hmm. These are the blind spots that, that, that professionals fix and amateurs avoid. And they keep doing the same thing over and over and then they never grow in life. And that's why this training program to you is priceless. Watch this video a thousand times, understand it, practice it, use scenarios how I did with Sean in your industry and you'll be killing it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.